Hi. In this video, we will create a measure to calculate consecutive days of reaching target. And uh, as you can see, date and total steps are the columns in this table visual. And these are the days I did not reach my target uh, daily steps of 7000. And these are the days where I've reached the target. So let us try to create a measure. Let us try to name it as number of consecutive days reached target equal to we will create a variable we'll say that hey this is the current date this is the name of the variable equal to max of the calendar table date it's a good practice to return this uh, variable so we will return this variable and commit to it and drag that onto the table vision so uh, nothing fancy here you get the date so what we could do is uh, in the next step we will create another variable and we'll name it as last missed target date equal to we will use the filter function and uh, for the filter function the first parameter is table so we will wrap all function around the calendar table that will be the filter uh, for a table for the filter and the expression would be filter expression will be calendar table date less than or equal to current date and we have the total steps measure so if it is fewer than 7000 that is where i miss the target so we will um, use that as the expression for the filter and we'll if we cannot return this because this will uh, we'll get an error because this will return a table so what we could do is we can wrap everything around count rows and return this and it will uh, give you uh, the number and where it it says that whenever i miss the target uh, 7000 that is counting those uh, rows so uh, for example here i got five here so we count them till that particular point i have missed five days so the total missed days are 235 so what we could do is in case if we want the date what we could do is we can instead of count rows we will use the max uh, x function which is again an iterator it expects a table as a first parameter for the expression we will grab the date from the calendar table so that you get the date the days on which i missed my target steps of 7000 pretty cool right so we can cast it in an integer and commit to it we have uh, the correct values now so whenever i miss the target it is zero whenever i have uh, hit the target uh, it's counting those days for example you see here those are the number of days i have reached the target it's pretty cool right there are several ways you can create this measure but this is simpler i thought so um thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video